All right, I think I'm going to do another Sudoku from the, the Cracking the Cryptic guys. They just released their uh, gas puzzles, gen gen genuinely accessible, I think, Sudoku is, is what gas stands for. But they, I don't know, they, they come out with these, the e easier ones that are reasonable for me to do. This one's called The Goblin King, and I guess some guy named Bill Murphy put it together. I'm about to go goblin mode on this thing. I think it's standard rules, so n normal Sudoku rules apply. Cells connected diagonally cannot contain the same number. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so th if this is a seven, this this box can't be a seven, I guess. Well, that that couldn't be the case, I guess. So the the only uh, so this if this was a seven, this one couldn't be a seven. There's a seven here. <laughs> My examples aren't working great. But uh, oh man, none of the ones that I'm looking at would even make sense. Uh, okay, this is a one. This one could not be a one. It generally could be a one, but it can't be a one. I think that's what the the rules mean. Um, let's get into it. Hopefully, I, this is doable. Okay, oh, immediately I'm seeing a six. We've got a six in one of these two boxes. There's a six here, so there's a six here. So maybe the sixes will be relatively straightforward. Maybe not. Okay, so now one of these three numbers has to be a six. Don't have any idea which one. Oh, one of these two numbers has to be a six. So I think I'll make note of that. So six, six, one of those two. Um... Okay, sixes. Oh wait, so okay, so now this column's done. So one of these three has to be a six. So one of these three has to be a six, and one of these three has to be a six. Um, it's probably it for sixes. Okay, uh, one's interesting at all. There's this one sitting in the middle. I was looking at a bunch of sevens, wasn't I? <clears throat> all right, ones. We got ones going there. So one of these three has to be one. I don't want to take a note of that though. Okay. Can't be one here or here. Not very helpful. Ooh, okay. So here and here can't be a one. So one of these two has to be a one. Okay. And then now one of these three has to be a one. So since there's a one here, one of these two has to be a one, making a little bit of progress. Um, that's probably it for ones. How about twos? Is this is the only two they're giving us. I think so. Threes. Okay, so three can't go here. Three can't go here. So this is a one-three pair, which is helpful. So these these two squares have to be one and three. Awesome. Um, ooh, same with this. Same with these two. Because of this. Okay. Um, all right, that's interesting. Any other threes? So here, 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 here. So ones and threes have like a very similar pattern, it seems like. Um, okay, how about seven? So I wanted to be looking at seven. Seven's there, so one of these two has to be a seven. Uh, Okay, one of these two has to be a seven. Um, okay, so looking at fours. Are fours interesting? One of these two has to be a four. Um, I think there are only fours in this column, so that's probably it for fours. Fives, is there only one five in the middle? Jeez, sixes we did, I think, for the most part. Yeah. Sevens, I just was talking about. Eights, is there only one eight? Nine. Nine has to be one of these three. Wow, okay, so it doesn't seem like we have very much information here. Uh,. What? So it must be something going on with this like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine deal. What is that? Okay, so. Okay, so remember the corner rule. So diagonally across, so like these couldn't both be one or both be three. These can't both be seven. <laughs> That's not that helpful. Uh, Do we run into any, do they? 
Ooh, okay, so this can't be a seven. So this one has to be. There we go. All right, now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. And now this can't be a seven, so this has to be a seven. Okay, now we're placing sevens pretty well. One of these two has to be a seven now. Oh, this can't be a three. Okay, so it has to be a one. One, three, one, three. Very helpful, very helpful. Okay, so now one of these two has to be a three. One of these two has to be a one. All right, so this corner rule is coming in very handy. I forgot about it for a while, but then I remembered. Okay, so two. So t we need a two. It, this has to be a two because there can't be a two here and there has to be a two in this box. Uh, so what are the numbers left here? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. I'm guessing that's going to be corner ruled at some point. Oh, no, there's a nine here, so this is, we, don't need, we don't need corner rule. Eight, nine. Perfect. We got a box filled. This is a nine because of the two nines here. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's no two. Wait. Oh, this has to be two. This has to be two because there's a one. Of, there has to be a two in this row, and there's already a two in this box. So this has to be a two. Uh, so this is eight, nine. Yep. Um, okay. Any interesting corner stuff happening here? Okay, so this one can't be a six. And we need a six in this box, so one of these has to be a six. And then we need five. Oh, we need a seven, too. So this can't be a seven. No, we don't need a seven. Uh, uh, four, five, and six we need. All right, four, five, and six. All right, one, two, three. So this is a this is four, five, six here. So both of these are four, five, six. So let's. I'm gonna make note of that. Four, five, six. But this one can't be a six. Uh, these are four, five, six. But this one can't be a six. And this one can't be a four because of the four here. Okay, so that's helpful. Four. Um, all right, so that's almost filled in. What else do we have? So only two numbers left in this column. That's got to be helpful. One, two, three, four, five and eight. Oh, really? I was sure we were getting something out of that. All right, well, that's a five, eight pair. Okay, so there's only four boxes left here. What, what do we have to put there? There's, there's no corners, so I don't think we're gonna get much out of this, but maybe we will. All right, one, we need a two, three. Oh, okay, so that's super helpful, actually. So there has to be a three in one of these because there's a three. Ooh, we've placed a three. Wow, okay, so this is a three. They turn these like little numbers colors, which is helpful. All right, so now we need a two, five, eight. And this is an eight, because there's an eight here. So now we need two, five here. Okay, making serious progress. So now th there's only one number left that could go with this four here, because two and five are here, and it's one, right? Ooh, so this is a one. Wow, one, that makes this a four. Now we're making pro serious progress. All right, so one of these is a one. Okay, so only two more numbers in this column. One, so we need a two and a seven. And there's a seven here, so this is a seven. This is a two. Wow, okay. Now one of these has to be a seven, so one of these one of these two has to be a seven. It can't be this one, so it has to be this one. 
We must be down to sevens now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. So this is a seven. And then this is a seven. And we are done with sevens. Nice. Right? That's it. All right. What else we got? Okay, so one. Oh, this one of these has to be a one. So that places a one here. Perfect. Um. So this is it for ones. We just have these boxes down here and up there. Oh. Only three numbers left in this row, so obviously two and five. One, two, three, four is the last one. So one of these two boxes has to be a four. No way to prove it, though. All right, I've finally come to a conclusion. I think it's going to be helpful. So since we know that, so, so six has to go in one of these two boxes, and then we've got two sixes here. So there has to be a six in one of these three boxes. Um, and the only way that's possibly going to work out is if this is a 6 and this is a 6 because they can't be diagonally across from each other. So there's going to be a 6 here, going to be a 6 here. Now we can remove 6s there. This is a 4 5 pair. Hmm. Um, all right, well, we place the six here. Are we going to be able to finish the sixes? Please let me finish the sixes. Ugh, not quite. So one of these two has to be a six. And we don't have any diagonal stuff happening there. Summer. Okay. Any other stuff like that? Okay, there's got to be something similar happening here, right? I guess not. All right. So it is, it is helpful that like, so since there's a two here, none of these can be twos. Because two couldn't go diagonally this way and it can't go on top of a two either. So we do know that one of these four has to be a two. Not that that's particularly helpful, but it's, it's a helpful just concept in general. So, okay. So none of these can be a four. Thinking maybe I could force a four or a five here, or the, force this four or five, but I don't think that's going to work. All right, another cool little pattern because because this number can't be a four or a five, and we still need a four and a five in this column. This number either has to be a four or a five, and then that forces this to be whatever the last number is. It a so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine. That's a nine. And we have a four, five pair in the column. Okay. Progress. Nine, nine. One of the top three up here has to be a nine, and it can't be this one, so it's one of one of these two. Okay. Um helpful. Did that do anything else? Probably not. Nine, nine. Ooh, okay. So one of these two has to be a nine. And it can't be, oh, it can't be this one. Oh, awesome. That's huge. Okay. So nine, three. What does that do? So now we only have four squares left in here. Four squares left in the column, too. So maybe there's some information there. Um, okay, this box is getting interesting as well. One of these has to be a five. Neither of these can be a five. This one could be a five. So f there has to be a five in one of these two, and if this is a five, this can't be a five, so that's interesting to keep an eye on. Um, so one, we need a 
Uh, so two, four, five, eight here. Two, four, five, eight. Don't have any of those numbers down here. So two, four, five, eight are the same numbers that we need in this box as well, as that we need in the column. Uh, two, four, five, eight. None of those are anywhere to be found. <laughs> okay, that's not very helpful. Um, what else is going on? Ooh, okay, that's super, okay, so we need a two in this row. We need a two in this row, and none of these boxes can be twos. So this is a two, which forces this to be a five, and now we're making progress. So this, what were the numbers here, four and eight? And there's a four here. Did I say four and eight? So this is a four, this is an eight. Huge, and then this is a five, and then this is a four, and then this is a five. That was massive, okay. One, two, there needs to be a two. That works. Okay, eight, just decided this. Five, is this, that was like the biggest discovery of all time. Five there, there has to be a five here. Two here. What's going on here? One, two, three, four, and eight. There couldn't be a four or eight somewhere in here. Oh, there is an eight, okay. Normal Sudoku rules. Uh, four and eight, nice. Said that in reverse order, but what can you do? Uh, this has to be a two for the to finish the row. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and three can't go either of these places, so three has to go here. Um, and then we need a five and an eight. So these are f either five or eight, and I don't think we can prove that. So let's jot that down. All right, so what else do I need up here? Uh, four. We don't know anything about four. So four could go, four's got to go somewhere in there. Okay. Um, what else? So we need a one, a four, and an eight here. And those seem to be pretty common numbers. Oh, so four has to go in one of these two. So it can't go. So that force, another one of these things where it forces them to be opposite here. So the four has to go here. Four has to go there, forcing a six here, forcing a, f and there's a four there. This is a five. That's huge. Five, eight, nine, eight. Uh, there's a one sitting here. I feel like that's got to be something. Six is definitely here. So there has to be a one here for some reason. I don't know what it is. Uh, but I have it, I have it pencil marked. Uh, nine there. I'm pretty sure this has to be a one, which would force this, force this to be a one. Why does this have to be a one? Let me just prove this. Um, okay, one, one, one. Yeah, it has to be a one. Uh, because of this and these two. One. 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 Whatever this number has to be. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we're talking. There's only one number left in this row. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only one number left in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, okay, so only one, one more number left in all these, on all these columns. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five is the number. Yeah, five. Uh, one, two, three, and two. There it is. Very cool. Very cool. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. It only took me 84 minutes.